Hi, this is Chef Pachi, and today I have an amazing spice mix for you. I use it for most of my pork recipes, but also for chicken and for beef and for many other delicious foods. Let's see. Let's start with my amazing dry rub. Now we're going to make my dry spice that I use for barbecue ribs. And what I have is a couple of tablespoons of coconut sugar. Then I'm going to add about half a tablespoon of salt. And that's coarse salt. A teaspoon of delicious ground chipotle pepper. It's dry. And a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Find the best smoked paprika you can. I love it. It's delicious. I love to add smoked paprika to my chili, so I use it a lot. Also to my ribeyes. It's, I don't know, I love the flavor of it. Mix all the ingredients well so that you don't have any crumbs. And once you're done with that, now to this, I'm going to add half a package of that thyme that I had drying. And it's important that it's a lot of thyme and it's easy to come off. You just rub the stems between your hands, pull lightly on the leaves, and they're all going to fall out. Some stems might fall out too. Just pick them out, no problem. It doesn't take more than a minute or two. And this is a delicious spice rub. You're going to want to use it for many, many dishes. But remember, it's high in salt. So use it sparingly, and it's also spicy. I use it sometimes to put it on top of jumbo shrimp that have their shells because it's so spicy and potent that it actually seasons the seafood amazingly well. Place it in a jar and keep it on your counter. This is not a lot of herb mix, so it's not going to be there for a long time. If you think it's going to be there for more than a month, and refrigerate it. But you are going to enjoy it so much, you're going to love it. It's beautiful and amazing. So let's start adding some to a couple of ribs. Here I have some St. Louis cut ribs. But at the end, you're going to see a lot of different meals that I've done with this same rub. Just add it to all of the ribs and Pass your hand over it so that it absorbs all of this delicious seasoning. That way, when you turn it around, it doesn't all fall off. It sticks well to all of your meat and your food is going to taste delicious because it's all going to be seasoned. I normally leave it like this for a whole day, but if you do it for at least an hour, it's going to be perfect. Then I cook it on a powered pressure cooker or an instant pot. And I cook it at high for 50 minutes. That's it. And you're going to see in a minute how tender they come out. They come out so tender that sometimes I have to be very careful to take them out. Otherwise, they're all going to fall apart. So I take them out with two large forks. I put two or three of the St. Louis rib racks into my large instant pot. You can also cook them in the oven on a low oven, 250, for about three to four hours. And this is how tender they're going to be. Beautiful and delicious. Then you put them either on the barbecue or you bake them. Bake them in the oven until they're golden brown. I add a little bit of Chef Pachi's barbecue sauce and check that out all beautiful, golden, delicious. I even make them sometimes at the beach. I just put them on my grill and enjoy each delicious piece. Check out that ribeye. Delicious diets, sustainable diets. And that chicken, all of these delicious foods with that same rub. So keep your rub at hand and enjoy Chef Pachi's pork rub. Remember, with Chef Pachi, delicious diets are sustainable diets and you enjoy everything you eat 
It's amazing. Chef Pachi.